Well, South by Southwest is underway right now in Austin, Texas, and this is really the place to see the latest in music, film, and technology. And there is one South by Southwest success story that actually might be a lifesaver for you. You know when you send a text only instantly to regret it, or maybe you're like, oh no, I sent it to the wrong person. Well, there is now an app for that. Thank you to Macy Peterson. She is the founder of the app On a Second Thought. It lets you change or delete that text that you press send to and then freak out. She joins us now from Washington. First, I have to say, I think everyone can relate to this moment where either you send it accidentally or you send it to the wrong person or you regret sending it. So what made you think of this app and how did you get this ball rolling? Well, I think we've all had that problem. I sent a few messages that I wished I could take back. Autocorrect just happens to have a vendetta against me. <laughs> Is that where this idea came from? It really did. I, um, I was going on a date with this guy in Maryland. And D.C., Maryland, and Virginia are very close together. And I wanted to move our date from, D or from Maryland to D.C. And so what I wanted to ask him was, hey, are you in D.C. or are you in M.D.? And autocorrect changed it to, are you in DC or are you in me? <laughs> and that's not what I wanted to say, especially before a first date with a very Christian guy. So, um, but he being the gentleman said, I'm in Maryland at my grandmother's. I'll see you in DC. Um, I'll find out in just a minute whether or not this dating situation ever worked out. But I'm curious, <laughs> how does this work? I understand it's only now available on Android, right? That is correct. We're on Android right now. However, we are releasing iOS by late spring. The way it works is that you go to the Google Play Store and download on Second Thought. And then once you open up our app, you set it as your default SMS messenger. Uh -huh. And what that means is that every text message sent or received to your phone is done so through on Second Thought. Then you go in the app settings and you can set your grace period, which is the amount of time that you have to recall or what we like to call lost a message and you have up to 60 seconds. I'm a little impatient and so I have my grace period set at seven seconds. Yeah. And what that means is that after hitting send, you have seven seconds to swipe left to get your message back. Oh, interesting. So have you had, what, what have people that have used this said to you as sort of a, <laughs> a, a like, I'm sure there's plenty of thank yous. <laughs> there are tons of thank yous and finallys and I thought of that years ago. Why didn't I do something about it? And I, the nice thing that's about this is that it solves a problem that's pretty universal. Everyone has sent a message that they wish they could get back, and now they can. Well, so that's what's interesting. You say a lot of people have said, I thought of this. I just didn't know how to do it. So how did you do this? You went to South by Southwest, I understand, last year, right? That is correct. At South by Southwest last year, I pitched the idea in a competition that was being sponsored by the Kauffman Foundation and Up Global. And I competed against about 21 other companies. Um, some had customers and revenue, and I just had an idea. And I was the first one up to pitch. And 21 people later, they announced that I had won first place. Well, interesting. Uh, that should be a quote. I just had an idea. And now look at you. We are waiting for it to come to iPhones. <laughs> Don't worry, me. I am too. <laughs> okay, good. Macy Peterson, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Congrats on the honor. Take care. Thank you. Nice to meet you too.